Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Meissner Media tutorial, we are going to be taking a look at how to use color wheels. This is a very standard color grading tool that you'll see in pretty much any sort of color grading program that you're in. Today we're going to be looking at it in DaVinci Resolve, but like I said, it'll apply to basically anything. So here you are, you've got your lift, gamma, gain, and offset controls. Now what these correspond to is the different brightness values in your image. So if you see our scopes here, we're just going to go to a one up display and choose our waveform. So now we can take a look at this whenever we move stuff around. So the lift is our bottom part of our image, these dark parts. So you can see there's this dark image here, which corresponds to her shirt and pants. There's this bright part over here, which corresponds to the bright part in the image over here. So you can see the Y axis is our brightness level and the X axis is the position in the image. So with that knowledge, you can see if we move this lift control down, you can see we are moving these bottom parts mostly down. It's moving the whole image in this case, but it is mostly moving this bottom part. Then same with the gain, which will be our top part. It's moving the whole thing a little bit, but it's mostly moving the top part, just stretching it out. And then the gamma is the middle part. So you can see where it's sort of leaving the highs and lows pretty much in their place and then moving the middle parts around. And you can see how it changes with the image too. So that's really basic. It's pretty easy to do your corrections like that. Where it gets a little bit more interesting is whenever you start to move this guy here, which is our color control. So you can see with our gain, it's moving the colors in the highlights. So if we make the highlights yellow, you can see how much it brought the blues down in the highlights because yellow is the opposite of blue. So adding more yellow means taking away blue. And then if we go to our lift and we add blue, you can see it's bringing our blue levels up in our, our shadow area. And then say we want to move our middle area to pink or magenta as it may be. You can see exactly how the blue channel and the green channel are moving around, but the red channel is kind of isn't doing much. So you can see these controls, they look a little bit intimidating when you first see them, but really they're pretty simple and they just take a little bit of playing around with. The offset control is sort of just a whole image control. So you can see it's just moving the whole, the whole thing around. That is a really good way of seeing that. So if your footage is a little bit underexposed, you can sort of start off with this guy and bring it back up and then go ahead and change your stuff around just like you would normally. So super fast, super easy. Color wheels are a great way to sort of get your feet wet color grading. They're very powerful. When you get a little bit more advanced, other programs have, you know, options that look the same, but they have this great low range and high range control. So adjusting that, looking at our waveform, you can see we have this really isolated part that we're working on. It's not affecting the whole image as much. So let's say we want our midtones way up, which would be our gamma in our other controls. We can bring the high range up. You can see it's affecting higher up parts of the image. Bring the low range down. So you can see we are getting really isolated control. So you will use this a lot for like these typical orange teal looks where Changing your blue around there doesn't do much, but you bring your low range down. Now you're getting it just nice like that. And then you can put some more oranginess in your highlights, orangey yellows, just like that. It's nice and easy. Say you want more blues in the highlights, you bring your high range up, less down. So you can see color wheels, they are you know super easy to start playing around with, very powerful, lots of fun. If you're new to color grading, then welcome. This is DaVinci Resolve. There's a free version which does like 95% of what the paid version does. So, you know, you should definitely check it out. It's definitely worth it. But if you are in Premiere, there's a way to do three-way color correction. Um, Final Cut Pro X, I think Color Finale by my buddy Denver Riddle. Shout out Denver, what, what? It's a super cool plugin that works for that. Hashtag not sponsored. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't give it a dislike, no matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. Subscribe to the Meester Media YouTube channel for even more like that. And apparently there's a little bell you can ring because YouTube's being a butt. So ring the bell and you'll be notified of all the stuff that I put up, which is good because then you don't have to read the manual. Only I do. Also be sure to share this video with your friends because I know that you know someone that doesn't know how to color grade, especially if you have an intern or something. Just send that over to them and be like, hey, learn how to use this. Also be sure to check out meesternmedia.com slash products where there are lots of presets that you can get for color grading such as LUTs and power grades. Also we just released the lens junk stills which are some free stills that you can use for overlay on your thumbnails which I'll probably use on this thumbnail because it makes stuff look cool. Once again I've been Theo with Meester Media. Hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs>